It is Sunday morning. We're heading to uh, Touch Twice's clinic. There's a lot of people in the world and definitely in our country who just don't get loved on on a regular basis. And so it's really fun to see people that are friends of mine get to kind of get out of their comfort zone and touch someone that they normally maybe wouldn't talk to or have an opportunity to spend time with. First off, thank you everybody for coming today. Without you guys, the clinic would not be possible at all. Basically, you are their lifeline right now. You are their best friend. You might know them, but remember, it doesn't matter how much they make, what type of lifestyle they live, we are all equal. We're all God's children. I can feel human when I feel the burn. Hey guys, day 153 and just got up this morning and quickly got right to work working with my sister and her husband's nonprofit organization, Touch Twice United. Basically what we want to see is can they see the bottom or top or what line what can they see? This is your tool for the day. It is called a photometer. You have the person hold it up to their eye, and then you have them slowly start turning it clockwise until they can start seeing the top letters. You want it so it's pretty real, real clear, clear as you can get. Oh, okay. okay. So then you take it and you look at these numbers. You're gonna write down whatever number you find here. And do you do both eyes or just yeah. one eye? No, you do both. I'll be looking for the glasses that are gonna help the person the most. And then anybody that we can't service here with, with these recycled glasses, then the doctor around the corner, well, actually I have a card for them and then he will help them the next step. Our, our goal is either if a person can't read so that they can leave here being able to read, or if they can't see to drive, we want to be able to give them good enough vision so they can see at a distance. Okay, can you read the top four letters for me? I was assigned to the optometry department and just get a chance to see the people come in. Can you make out this this at all? Yeah. 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 Okay, now if I take this away? Oh, nothing. Okay, yeah. And then less than five minutes, they're walking out of there with a pair of glasses. And you have a good day now. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Very much. I've got 20 years in optics. I used to teach how to make the glasses, and, and I also worked selling glasses, too. What we do is we partner with local optometrists and other people like myself in every location so that we can do these kinds of things across the country. Make it into habit to give back, back, back. It is really nice. Okay. Good. We serve people first come, first serve, no questions asked. It's a zero budget, zero uh, expense effort. There's no fee or, or uh, obligation to anything that we have. Crystal? Yeah, look at that. Like, right on zero. Yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah, I mean, some people obviously don't need glasses, <laughs> you know, and that's good. So that, at least they got it checked. One time I had a young mother in here who had a, a lump on her neck and she was scared to death. And I asked her why. Was, I told her it was just a, a swollen lymph gland. And she said, well, her gerbil had a lump like that and it died. So she just came in to make sure she wasn't dying and just basically get reassured. So it's a lot of things like that. I just helped yeah. this lady over there and it was just, it was really nice. And she's just like, she hasn't had her nails done in like, I think she had one other manicure like once in her entire life and she's like, you know, she's going to for an interview, for a job interview. And so she's like, oh, you know, and she's all excited. We're picking out colors and she's like, oh, I like that one, you know. And she's just so excited. It's just amazing to me how something so simple as a haircut can make somebody feel so good. I cut a woman's hair that had um, obviously just had some chemotherapy and had lost her hair. Um, and just her story was very humbling and then when she got up she told me that I had really pretty hair and uh, I didn't know what to say to that. No, all I could say was thank you. Confidence if they need to go on a job interview or something like that. And it just feels like you're not doing anything. 
but somehow it changes their life. It, yeah. You know what I mean? It just makes them feel like they're valuable and important. And especially in today's society, how big is healthcare? It's a topic of every political debate and every conversation and today. And here it's just a bunch of people given a little bit of time and resources. I think the whole concept is good, and I know Perry's idea or goal is to get one clinic in every county um, you know, once a month eventually. I think it would help at least start to meet some of the needs of you know, the healthcare needs of the country. The end game for me is that I want to have our, our ministry out of business by 2011 and the local churches kind of owning this and grabbing onto it so that um, they take it on and again we just diminish into nothing. Take it. So the plan is to uh, stick around here one more day and um, then onward we will go. But we will check in with you guys tomorrow regardless. All right, cheers everyone. <laughs>